The first mass production car with power steering was the 1951 Chrysler Imperial. And ever since then, the technology has been evolving. Over the past decade or so, the auto industry has been shifting from hydraulic power steering to electric power steering, also known as electric power assisted steering, or EPAS. While EPAS offers a number of benefits, the logic behind EPAS isn't much different than hydraulic power steering. Hydraulic power steering uses hydraulic fluid supplied by an engine-driven pump to assist in turning the steering wheel. The fluid is housed by a reservoir that feeds the pump when turned by the accessory drive belt. The pump pressurizes the fluid that's delivered to the input side of the power steering gear via a high pressure hose. This pressurized fluid is what provides the assist to the driver. Once the gear is returned to center and assist is no longer needed, the gear's low pressure side sends the fluid back to the reservoir. This closed system continually operates based on the input from the driver via the steering wheel. The logic behind the system is to only provide as much assist as needed based on the driving situation. When you're cruising down the highway at 65 miles per hour, you need very little assist from the hydraulic pump because you have the vehicle's momentum to help you make any turns. But when you're maneuvering in a parking lot at five miles per hour, the pump is going to provide extra fluid to help you turn the steering wheel. The principle behind EPAS is the same. However, a fully electric power steering system achieves this without a pump, fluid reservoir, and the associated plumbing, which helps the OEM save weight, space, and even the maintenance schedule of power steering fluids. Eliminating the belt-driven pump also reduces the engine load, in some cases recovering a few horsepower. This can equate to better gas mileage, sometimes up to three miles per gallon. In an electric power steering system, an electric motor is either bolted to the steering column or the steering rack. The system has a torque sensor that measures the amount of force applied to the steering wheel, and that sends a signal to the power steering control module. Steering angle sensors and vehicle speed sensors also contribute information to the steering module, which is taking all these inputs into consideration to determine just how much assist to provide to the driver. Since many EPAS systems aren't field serviceable, they're usually replaced as a unit. As we've noted in previous videos, you have the option to recommend a remanufactured EPAS unit to your customers. A reman electric power steering system can save your customer up to 20% compared to an all-new EPAS system. If you recommend a system from a leading manufacturer, you can be confident the unit has been fully disassembled and inspected, and all electronic modules have been 100% tested for input-output parameters to specific diagnostic trouble codes. Also, a leading remanufacturer will replace all serviceable seals, bellows, boots, clamps, and belts with OE quality components. The number of vehicles with electric power steering is increasing every year. As vehicles become increasingly computerized and autonomous, the fully electric rack and pinion will likely continue to be the preferred method of providing power steering assist. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.